So we're out here in our 6215 TDV, so 226 max horsepower for this tractor. Uh, we're running our 5 metre um, Aquila Machio pair here on the back. Um, out the pumice here, out the back of Topol. Um, so this ground's uh, been, been disced and uh, we're just going through now, quite hard packed still, but um, yeah, just breaking it up. Um, it's quite a nice job as you'll see. Just thought I'd give you a quick run through on how our heather management and GPS system work. So, You'll see here I've got our heather management sequence set up, so I've set this all up through the screen um, beforehand um, and this can be recorded if we take the implement off or anything like that. Uh, so basically how yeah, we've got it set up, um, where it says tip, that's one press of our, our black button here. So when we press that, that's going to um, engage that command. And you'll see what that's going to do is it's going to bring our engine rev up. So at the moment we're just running at 1200, but when I, when I press my button it'll take us to 1900. Uh, and then after one second it's going to lower our linkage, so put our power on the ground. And then it's going to engage our ground cruise speed, which at the moment is set at about 5k. Um, so that's all off the one press of the button, so that's what that tip means. And then you've got your two timers there in terms of how it works as we sequence on. Then when we get to the other end, you'll see we've basically got the same but in reverse. So it's going to lift our, our linkage out of the ground, or lift our power hair out of the ground. Uh, we'll go back to, we'll cancel our cruise speed, so we go back to driving on the pedal to turn it around. And after a couple of seconds, it's going to take us back to 1200 RPM, so we're not running at as high or idle. Um, so we're ready to go now, so if I just engage my full direction um, Our GPS is all set up running here, so we've got that all on the screen So I'm just going to actually give you a demo of how it'll um, go through this process So basically we double press that to move that into ready mode And then all we're going to do is hit our back button And it's just going to start us off driving And go through that sequence, find our line And run to it And then bring back up our GPS screen and monitor that Obviously, big advantage of the the, the, the auto steer, um, is, especially with a job like Power Hero, it means we don't have to worry about driving in a straight line or making sure our overlap's all good. We know that we're getting our, our optimum overlap there, uh, and it means I can simply just focus on on my implement out the back, and I can adjust my depth as, I, as I'm going to make sure that we're working at the right depth. And you'll see there, it's doing a nice tidy job in a nice straight line, and uh, got about six years to do, so it should be nice going from there on. So as we're going along here, you'll see on my, on my pillar monitor, I've got our sequence there, so I can see exactly which step I'm up to. Um, and you'll see when I press my button next, so if we go back to our headland screen, um, you'll see when I press my button next, um, it's sitting at that step number four. So one press is going to lift my linkage, and then it'll simply disengage my cruise and um, slow my engine speed. So I'll demo that, demonstrate that shortly when I get to the end here. While we're in the cab here, I thought I'd just run through some of our um, some of our features on our monitor here. Um, so we've got our two ground cruise speeds here. So you see our green one's the one that's currently active. So we're driving at five kilometers. And we've got our two engine speeds here. So they're our engine cruise speeds. So um, we set at 1900 RPM, doing about a thousand speed at the, at the rear PDO. Um, up the top there, we've got our, our PDO droop. So you can set that and that's simply, um, the, the tractor's always gonna try and maintain five kilometers at 1900 RPM. But basically what that 100 RPM means is that if we hit some hard ground or we poke it up a hill or something like that. If the tractor has to drop any more than 100 RPM, so it has to drop down below 1800 RPM, instead of doing that, it's going to hold that speed and it's going to um, slow our ground speed instead. Um, other than that, we've got a few different um, just readings down there in terms of our, our tractor settings or our tractor um, status, so in terms of temperatures and things like that. Um, all our hitch controls are controlled through our monitor. So we've got uh, yeah, a few different controls there, um, same with our front linkage. All our hydraulics are set in here, so all the colours correspond with the, the caps on each valve, so whichever you're plumbing your hoses into, you know which colour is, uh, is which. And then our numbers here, so you see we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, so they correspond with our numbers here. So 1 and 2, 3 and 4, and this one's equal to 6, so we've got 5 and 6 down there as well. Um, once I've plugged in, we can change them all around, so we can come in here and reassign all of those remotes. Um, so you've got a few controls here, so we can just swap them around if we want. Instead of having it on our number one, we want to have it working over here. We can just reallocate those, and we have the tick to save them. Uh, we can also adjust all our flow rates from the screen too. So we simply click on a, on a hydraulic, so our number one here. You'll see that set at 50%. If I wanted to change that, I can simply click on it, and that'll change it. Um, I can set whether I want my flow function to change to a detent. Um, I can set a timer or a detent on that remote as well through that direct button there. Um, the A highlighter there means that's the remote that's controlled on the mudguard uh, and then it's also set as priority as well and we can also individually lock this remote. This little chain link on the side simply means that we can set two different flow rates if we want it um, 
out at one speed and in at a different speed, then we can unlock those and change those individually. But otherwise, if it's locked as I change them, it'll change both proportionally. So it's nice and easy there. We've then got a heaven tab, which we ran through uh, just previously. Uh, our ASM settings, so you'll see we're running an ASM at the moment, which is our axle system management. So with that, we can set um, at which um, steering angle we want our four-wheel drive and diff lock to kick out at. So you'll see our four-wheel drive set at 40 degrees and our diff lock at 12. Uh, and then also the speed as well, so our four-wheel drive will kick out at 14 kilometres and our diff lock at 10. Um, you'll see down there we just got a visual of what our, our steering's at, so because it's following our auto steer here, it's just making adjustments on the go as it needs to. Uh, and then we've also got our quick steer function down here. I've currently got that set on zero just for this job, but you can turn that up so it goes from zero to three. Uh, at three, it basically takes it, so instead of doing five turns of the wheel to go from full lock left to full lock right at our headland, it'll take it down to, to one and a half or two turns. Um, so it just speeds it up quite a bit on the end there, which is, uh, can be quite a nice feature. Uh, lastly, on our monitor here, we've just got our, our profiles. So you see I've only set one up here for Power Hero, but we can set that up for a set of mowers and a, a few different up, other implements. When we come back after after doing our mowing and put our Power Hero back on, we can then uh, set our, we can just select Power Hero, upload those settings, all our hydraulic settings and hitch settings will be back where they were. So that's nice and easy there too. So just coming up to the end of our run here, you'll see our sequences on our screen. So simply all I'm going to do when we get to the end here, one press of the button, and it's just going to work through the sequence here now. So as I press my button, I'm just going to lift my hitch, disengage my cruise, and slow my engine speed, and then I can simply turn around as I have my headlight here, and line myself up for my, bed, for my next run. I uh, just thought we'd have a look at some of our fuel stats. So you see our average for what we've done so far, we're averaging um, about 32.7 litres per hour and cruising along about 17 uh, litres per hectare. Um, so far we've worked uh, just over two hectares there. Um, and yeah, got about a few to go, but we can see all our, how much longer it's expecting us um, to finish. So another four hours to go on this paddock at, at our current working speed. Um, and also got some other fuel reading that um, assistance here as well.